to the Runner X Podcast, where we talk about all things running. As many runners know, it's 90% mental. So join Coach Valerie and Coach Caroline as we go through the mental side of running. Welcome back to the Runner X Podcast. I'm your host, Coach Caroline, and I'm here with Coach Valerie. And we had a fun question that uh, Valerie and I were just talking about. Um, a student asked, is it better to run like a duck or a pigeon? And what, what was your answer, Valerie? What did you say? Well, I was, I think my first response was that was kind of what was she thinking when she said that? Well, no, right. I think you said, you basically said neither. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, yeah. She's being nice, guys. You don't want to run like a duck or a pigeon. And why well, is I mean, that? <laughs> I was trying to really kind of think why she used those um, analogies. Animals. Yeah, yeah. And so then my thought was, well, ducks, you know, have that. Um, there was recently, by the way, a duck that was running in a marathon. You didn't see that? <laughs> Yes, I did. Posted. So his feet were moving really, really quick. And and then the pigeon is more like a waddler, you know, kind of well, going I, side to side. Yeah. And I think you said even like the duck points outward and the pigeon can point inward, where I was yeah. thinking more like the duck on water, not the duck on land. So he was moving. He was trucking it in that marathon. I think <laughs> yeah. of a duck. I always joke with my boss when I'm working really hard that I'm like a duck. I'm cool and collected above the water, but underneath I am just running a mile a minute. And that's how I always think of our runners is you, they're not hopping. They're not, they're not exaggerating the movement. Their legs are moving underneath them, but their, their whole body is just this, this unit that just glides through space. Right. That's how I see us. Um, but I think you're right. I think she meant more like, are their toes pointed outward? Or are their toys pointed inward? Are you wobbling? Well, or like, you know, I think here, here's where, let me just kind of go forward. So one of the things, if you've taken, ever taken our quiz, I don't think we use those animals, but no. if you've taken <laughs> our quiz, so what we try to get people to do, especially if you've got some kind of injury or something's bugging you in your run, is we try to help you maybe identify as something you might be doing in your run. Right, and right. so we have like the reacher, the marcher, the pusher, the leaner. And these are things that like, you may not even realize you're doing them, right? So then all of a sudden you're like, oh, wow, I had no idea that I was actually a reacher. So yeah. then when you start to work on your running, you know, one of the main things we teach you how to do is to pull your foot up. And then we're, I'm always like, up, up, up. Never seen any of my videos. <laughs> You've heard it. <laughs> so then our runners... and this just happens, they start to get really focused on their feet. And they're so like, you know, so they're getting like mesmerized by am I pulling? Am I pulling? And so when I saw the question, I, I was thinking that she might be thinking I should be moving my feet really quick like a duck. Or yeah. am I supposed to just be kind of meh, moving my feet like, like the penguin <laughs> side to side? You see that? That's, yeah. And it's amazing how guys, uh, we can overthink things, including your yeah. coach, because I'm, when I work with someone, cause like, for example, she's doing really well in her running, uh, but she's still like, she's just getting, uh, we call it the week three where you're like, yeah. just really starting to feel the movement that you're learning. You're still not quite sure you have it. So you're questioning. Yeah. You know, and it's, so it's the, I always put it to that meme that you see where the guy, there's two people digging and one, if he just, he gives up. And if he had just gone one more step, he would have hit like the pot of gold. And that's kind of what I feel like is week three. They're so close that if they just let go and stop overthinking and stop driving towards like, like uh, what, what direction are my feet or what about this? Or what about that? Just, just, you know, just think up, just think, let go. It's truly, it, it sounds crazy, but when you go through that, when you get past that, they all, when they come out on the other side, they all say the same thing. Oh my God, you were right. <laughs> that, <laughs> well, that's right, what I did. I just let go, or I just, I just right. thought up, or I just unweighted. They, they, they say the word that we've been trying to get through to them and they felt it. And right. it's, it's, it's a shift that, that is very powerful 
to see in a runner when they realized that they had it all along as Dorothy, you know, as the good witch said to Dorothy, they, you have the ability there all along. You don't need more strength. You don't need more, you know, we've talked about, you don't need well, more it's, flexibility, it's not, it's more mobility. You, you do need, you do need, of course, but that's like our, our thing. You know, we, we teach all that, the skill, the yeah. strength, the self-care. You, you, you do need to have it. The challenge we want, we, we have with people is they're not understanding. Um, they think that's what's limiting them. And right, it's not. Right. Exactly. That, that's the biggest thing. So, so when she said to us, should I be like a duck or a pigeon? Um, what I got out of it, and I kind of want to say this to, to you guys, is that she's still not understanding. Like she's still in a place where like, am I supposed to be moving my feet really fast? You know, like, am I supposed to be trying to run faster by moving my feet faster? Or am I supposed to be a little bit more relaxed? Like, that's the way I see it. Because yeah, again, exactly. we, te we teach you the action of running is in your foot. So we I can understand that. So then, of course, my answer to her was like, you know, and Caroline uses this a lot that, you know, with the duck, his, and we don't want to say his, because the fun part of us that what we teach you with the running is when you learn how to work with your own body weight. And you learn how to run and how to hold yourself up. Your feet are weightless. You're pulling 2% of your body weight. Right. So the fun part is when you really learn the movement and start to go running, you won't feel like a duck or a pigeon, really. Yeah. Because, <laughs> you know, that um, it's just fun. You'll have a different thought. And I haven't thought of the animal, I guess, but, you know, like you said. It's kind of like a cheetah because what's always funny is people come back when they finally get that and then they go, oh, God. I still have to breathe. And we go, yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Easy. <laughs> well, because so the that, but see, well, but that was my thought with the pigeon, right? So the duck yeah. is like the fast feet scram, you know, we're really fast feet. And then the pigeon is more of like laid back. And one of the things that we see all the time is runners are supposed to run easy. I see this yeah. from running pl plans all the time. You're supposed to go on these easy runs. Well, guys, there's no such thing as an easy True. run. Yeah. There's a way to make running easier. Yeah. See, there's the difference. Running itself, you're using every single muscle in your body. And it's one of the highest cardiovascular activities there is. Like, yeah. it is hard to run. Like, say it's that again. And I think people got to remember that. That running uses your entire body. Yeah. And it is one of the most taxing cardiovascular things you can do. So how could you ever run easy like that's a right. that's a that's oxymoron that's an oxymoron guys <laughs> well but, but to also to but to also say that doesn't mean that every run means you're gasping for air because the fun exactly. of running is finding the place you can hold finding the place you can hold your run so you can like i said running's not easy but you can make running easier and that's huge right. because when you watch people that are running like in the front of the pack they're, it's not easy for them to run a five minute mile. <clears throat> However, <clears throat> excuse me, they sure make it look easy, right? They look yeah. so smooth. <laughs> they look so smooth. And that's the runner I want you to look like. I want you to, but at your pace, but the understanding, like what they've figured out is how to work with their own body weight. And so that's what's so fun. So like, you might feel like a penguin sometimes, or maybe you feel like a duck. So I can totally appreciate that. And then we're like, no, I promise as you keep going, Whatever speed you're running, you'll feel a lot more like, what'd you say, a cheetah? Yeah, cheetah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, have a vision of something that just feels free. That's what I always right. think of. Well, and I always think of, you know, yeah, the cheetah that just, the, the way that they, they just look so effortless and beautiful. And, you know, that's, that's what I love to see. And then I think in the quiz, I also have like a stallion, you know, like a thoroughbred. Yeah. Or I kind of some days feel like a hippo kind of feel like a gazelle <laughs> elephant right you just feel a little like heavy and you're gonna that's the other thing too guys that I find really amazing is when you do start feeling uh, more efficient and feeling oh my god this actually feels almost you know I dare say easy right um, when it starts feeling that way everyone doesn't have to feel that way like you are gonna have runs that are just not gonna feel good but going to be hot it's going to be cold you're going to have a lousy day you didn't sleep well that night maybe you ate something that didn't agree with you and so sometimes I just kind of want to see that's a good thing because you you don't know what a good run is unless you have the occasional bad run 
And that doesn't mean you're not capable. It just means that it was just a day. It was a day you didn't sleep as well. It was a day that maybe, um, maybe you got out of bed funny. And so your, your calf is a little tighter than normal. So it starts feeling funky as you're running. Like let those things go because that, those aren't going to stay with you for your whole journey. Because that happens to you a lot too, right? You've gone through some injuries lately where you're trying to come back out of it and you're doing great, but not every run is a perfect run. I think the way to look at it is that once you know, like you can only control what you can control. Right. And so what I try to teach, what we try to teach people is what to do correctly in running. And we train for the ideal. We train, we train, we train when you do your training, your drills, you are exaggerating an ideal movement. And then you have to go live your reality. So like reality (laughs) is today, today it's 20 degrees. 20 degrees and windy and raining. I'm not going to PR, you know, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> when the, the point is, or, you know, by the way, guys, so I'll say this real quick since she mentioned it. I've been running for 30 years and every once in a while life happens. And so yeah. just like Caroline said, so I actually hurt my leg last year uh, doing some kind of jumping exercise. I wasn't even running, but yeah, so I had to rehab myself. And I do all my own recovery and my rehab. And I'm actually running faster now, less than a year later, almost a year older. And I tell people the best part is if you know what you're supposed to do and you're doing the to do, then other things can come up that are around your running, but you still can control your run. And that's what's so great to me. It's like being able to, I call it owning your run. And and like Caroline said, things will come up, you know, weather, whatnot. And However, though, instead of having a PR of like a time for your run, you're going to start feeling so proud. Like my mind, the, 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 uh, the satisfaction of I went for a run and I did what I was supposed to do. I held my body up. I did what, you know, I pulled my, you know, I did the action of pulling. It wasn't, you know, and then you can get into, um, of course, we help you with whatever comes up. But it is nice to know like when something is out of your control, you're like, okay, I can't control the weather. I can't control this crick in my neck, but I can control what I'm supposed to do while I run. Yeah, definitely. Okay, guys. So if you have any questions or any um, things that come up and make you go, hmm, I wonder what Valerie would say to that. Um, Give us a shout. Email us at support at runrx.fit. That's support at runrx.fit. And we will answer it on the next podcast. Thanks, guys. Thank you for joining us on the RunRx podcast. If you'd like to know more, join us at www.runrx.fit. And if you have additional questions that you'd like answered on the podcast, email us at support at runrx.fit. 